A British youth activist, Maya Rose Craig, launched a protest from the Arctic ice cap, holding up a sign that read, Youth strike for climate. Ice in the Arctic Ocean melted to its second lowest levels on records this summer. The youth strike movement is to give a boost to the anti-climate change movement. This report gets you all the details. Eighteen-year-old Mia Rose Craig is founder of the non-profit Black to Nature Group that encourages inner-city children from black and ethnic minority backgrounds to explore the natural world. In the most northerly protest in a series of youth strikes that take place worldwide, Craig was seen sitting on top of an ice cap with a placard. Her Arctic protest marks a day of global protest Friday to draw attention to climate change. Being on a tiny ice floe like this and just floating in the middle of a sea of slush has really just reminded me how delicate the Arctic is and all of the sea ice here because I think when looking at it all from up on the ship it feels massive and it feels like it's really sturdy and then coming down onto the level of the water with all of the birds around us um, has just reminded me how easily we could lose everything here. The Fridays for Future movement was made popular by Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg. Students have been striking on Fridays for two years now. And Craig's protest also marks a day of global protests to draw attention to climate change. As per Craig, these demonstrations played a key role in proving to the government that if politicians wanted their support, they would have to make climate change a priority. I think the youth strike movement is amazing because it's brought so much energy to the, the anti-climate change movement where suddenly hundreds of thousands of young people around the world have a voice and they're using it and they're telling their governments, their leaders, that this is what they care about and they care about it enough to miss out on essential education. Um, and I think that more than anything, they've done a monumental job in showing that we care, showing it's a priority. And I suppose showing that if politicians want our support, if they want our vote, then they have to make climate change a priority for them too. Craig's aim was to bring to light the state of the Arctic ice caps. This as the Arctic ice this summer melted to its lowest level since records began 42 years ago. This is the result of global warming and natural forces. The melting ice in the Arctic would result in rising temperatures of the Arctic which in turn would pose a threat to the Arctic's marine life and biodiversity, thereby affecting weather patterns worldwide. In the 1980s, the ice cover was about 2.7 million square kilometres, bigger than current summer levels. Bureau Report, We On World Is One.